Hello, the goal for this video is to go over some aspects of the table of contents. The table of contents can be formatted in multiple different ways. And so it depends on what you're trying to do to format it. So what you wanna do is you want to first create the table of contents. What you can do is go to references and either if you wanna make updates, you could update just the numbers only, you could update the entire table and there'll be a different video on how you're able to I, label the table of contents. But for this video purposely, if you wanna just do some basic updating, you can do that here. But what we're gonna do is we're going to actually format and look at how you can adjust the spacing. So you're gonna to go to custom table of contents. Now you can see here, here's a visual. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to from template, we're going to modify. Now TLC one, two, and three are the different kind of levels within your text that this is pulling from. And this again is being pulled from when you label it um, under inside your Word document. So as you see right here, you can go to TOC1, modify. Then you wanna to go to format, paragraph, and here. So here, your requirement might say it needs to be double spaced, zero, zero, indentation, zero, zero. So these are the most important sections of this area that you wanna make sure that you refer to in your guidelines that you may receive from your university or college. So here's for TOC1, hit OK and OK. Next, we'll go to TOC2, which again, go to format, paragraph, and here. So this is what you may need to ask or you may need to look at in your guidelines. What is the indentation state for your guidelines? What should the spacing be? Should this be single spaced? So this is very important to identify in these areas what this should be in asking questions if you're unsure. And then for TOC3, the same. Go to format, go to paragraph. And here, as you can see, the left has changed to 0.33. The spacing still says five, so some may want six. Some may want eight, so it's imperative for you to find out. And then usually here, this will say single space because they want the, um, if they're longer texts, they want it to be single spaced here so that it makes your um, table of contents look a little bit clearer, neater. So let's say we'll keep it here. We'll do five, keep it at single, save, save. Let's go back to TOC, two. This says left, so that's fine. We'll leave it here. We'll make this um, single space. And again, we'll leave at our first one, we'll leave this double space, zero, zero, zero. Perfect. So we'll hit OK, 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 and OK. Yes. So as you can see, this is what it means by that single space. And ideally, when, when you are creating your table of contents, the reason why you are inserting it and not manually inputting it, because you want to make sure that you can hyperlink. And so when you're using your table of con contents, you can hyperlink anywhere by creating it correctly.